Hi, welcome to Informatica support videos. Uh, my name is Ebenezer. I'm going to spend some time today discussing about a small feature that you can use in Data Archive 6.2. So the subject of this video is generating table DDLs. Uh, so we're going to discuss the agenda today. Basically, it's uh, uh, how to use the feature which is not available in archive job but via a standalone job. So as the subject of the video indicated, we are talking of generating table details. So when a data archive job runs, usually it uh, picks the tables from the source database and uh, creates the creates table script or rather the DDL on the fly and executes it on the target database. That's, uh, that's the usual process. However, the user might sometimes want to actually look at the script of the table being created, the DDL thereof, and check if the table sizes, the columns, the widths thereof, and the table structure is as it should be. However, the archive job, data archive job, does not provide a way to do this check on the fly when the job is running. Neither does it provide a way when the job is running to pause it uh, to see the scripts actually. So. In order to do that, we use a standalone job uh, which is also provided in Data Archive uh, UI, ILM UI, called as the Create Tables job. This Create Tables job is basically used uh, to create source, uh, uh, tables. Uh, you give a source and a target connection. It picks the tables from the source and creates them in the target. However, uh, it also takes an additional parameter of a path and then whatever path you give uh, it dumps the create table script into one single file uh, and then dumps the file in that location uh, obviously the location has got to be relative to the ILM installation engine folder and be accessible and uh, with read write permissions uh, on it so uh, let's take a uh, look at how this thing actually works so here I am uh, uh, logged into the UI and then here I come and then I do a schedule a job and then the standalone programs is selected by default I click on add uh, items and uh, I scroll down I select create tables shop uh, this obviously takes a source and a target uh, connections and you can see that apart from the source and target there is also an output location this is the path on the server where ILM is running so I give a folder relative to that path and then I hit on schedule and you will see that the job has been scheduled and completed uh, uh, and the job ID is 36, 34 here and this is our source target and this is the location so let's go to that location and see what we have there uh, uh, let me log in there and the path was supposed to be in the scripts folder if I come here uh, you see that uh, a file has been created with the job ID 34 uh, the name is uh, by default create underscore table underscore whatever be the job ID so you provide only the path up to the folder and you see that the create table scripts have been created here the tables are not actually created on the on the target database yet they are just in the file if you do not give the path they obviously get created in the destination location so this feature helps you to actually look at all the DDLs of the tables being created before they actually get created on the target database so uh, I hope that the uh, video will be helpful to you. Any feedback, uh, you can send it back to support videos at informatica.com or use the handle InfoSupport on Twitter to send us your feedback. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.